First at five, the family of a Jupiter father electrocuted at Harborside has reached a settlement in their wrongful death lawsuit. Nate Davenport was killed last October trying to rescue children from the fountain there. Good evening, I'm Tiffany Kenny, And I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. Investigative reporter Terry Parker was first to bring you the exclusive details of Davenport's death. She joins us now with what just happened. Terry. Right, Nate Davenport's wife and children will receive a settlement from Harborside Place for an undisclosed amount. The settlement saves them from the stress and grief of a prolonged trial following Nate's horrific death. Amy Davenport sued Harborside Place for wrongful death after her husband Nate was electrocuted in front of three of his young children. Two of his children had gotten into the fountain next to the splash pad and were being shocked. Nate jumped in to save them but was killed himself. An inspection report concluded a light fixture in the fountain was electrifying the water. Later, others came forward to say they had also been previously shocked in the fountain, some of them months earlier. The Davenport family lawyer says now they will no longer have to go to trial. The parties in the Davenport matter have reached an amicable and confidential resolution for privacy reasons and so as to further protect Mrs. Davenport and the four minor children. We have no additional comment at this time. The fountain has remained empty and the Davenport's uh, side was preparing to fill it back up and conduct tests on the wiring. That will no longer be necessary. There is still a motion by the family's attorney asking a judge to seal the surveillance video of Nate's death and any other images in order to protect the children. The judge has not yet ruled on that request. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.